we expect total fiscal operations of the federal government to result in a deficit of 10.8 trillion naira. This represents 4.78 percent of estimated GDP above the 3 percent threshold set by the Fiscal Responsibility Act 2007. As envisaged, the law we need to exceed this threshold, considering the need to continue to tackle the existential security challenges facing the country. We plan to finance the deficit mainly by new borrowings totaling 8.80 trillion naira, 206.18 billion naira from privatization proceeds and 1.77 trillion naira drawdowns on bilateral, multilateral loans secured for specific development projects and programs. Over time, we have resorted to borrowing to finance our fiscal gaps. We have been using loans to finance critical development projects and programs aimed at further improving our economic environment and enhance the delivery of public services to our people. As we are aware, we have witnessed two economic recessions within the period of this administration. A direct result of this is a significant de decline in our revenue generation capacity. In both cases, we had to spend our way out of recession, resulting in higher public debt and debt service. It is unlikely that our, our recovery from each of the two recessions would have been as fast without a sustained government expenditure funded by debt. In line with our plan to accompany annual budget with finance bills, partly to support the realization of fiscal projections, current tax and fiscal law regulations are being reviewed to produce a draft finance bill 2022. It is our intention to, it is our intention that we once ongoing consultations are completed, the Finance Bill 2022 would be submitted to the National Assembly to be considered alongside the 2023 Appropriation Bill. To ensure fiscal sustainability, we will further improve our business and enabling environment, accelerate current revenue-based fiscal consolidation efforts, and strengthen our expenditure and debt management. Distinguished Senators, Honorable Members, you may recall that we earlier integrated the budget of government-owned enterprises into the federal government's 2019 budget submission. This has helped to enhance the comprehensiveness and transparency of the federal government budget. It has, however, come to my attention that government-owned enterprises liaise directly with relevant NAS committees to have their budget passed and issued to them directly. I would like to implore the leadership of the National Assembly to ensure that the budget I lay before here today, which includes those of the government-owned enterprises, be returned to the presidency when fast. The current practice where some committees of the National Assembly purport to pass budgets for government-owned enterprises, which are at variance with the budgets sanctioned by me and communicate such directly to the MDAs is against the rules and needs to stop, please.